I don't know why I'm so happy today. Oh yeah, that's because it's Saturday. Of course. It's Saturday. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. We are ready to roll. Mic check one, two. Key light, hair light, back lights. Let's give this a go, baby. Welcome back to another episode of Vegan Food Review. In today's episode, we're gonna be reviewing Louisville Vegan Jerky Company. Coming up. So good to be seen, and it's even better to see you. What's going on? I hope you're doing well and staying safe. It's good to see you again. How are you doing? Let me know in the comments below uh, if we are now meeting for the first time as opposed to being a subscriber. My name is Francis. I happen to be a photographer, videographer, animal rights activist, and the CEO and founder of the Petmosphere app, who coincidentally, by the way, happens to be the sponsor of today's video. In case you didn't know, Petmosphere aims to be your one-stop shop for everything pet-related, whether it is that you want to hire a veterinarian or buy your, your dog a bowl for food. Everything in between and anything you can think of will eventually be found at petmosphere.com. Work in progress, so just bear with me. In the meantime, would love for you to give it a download for free at petmosphere.com anywhere you are in the world. So last week I was doing a little grocery shopping at one of my favorite markets here. It's called Fresh Mart. It's kind of like a Puerto Rican uh, version of Whole Foods, if you will. Um, they are in no way, shape, or form sponsoring this, but in case you are on the island like myself, this is definitely where you can find the product that we are going to be reviewing. Again, this is Louisville um, Vegan Jerky Company. This is the uh, packaging and the very first talking point that we are going to be uh, talking about today in today's video. Uh, this is usually the first thing that I like to talk about because it's uh, attention grabbing and it's definitely going to see uh, be something that you're eventually going to be out on look for in case you want to buy this product. So uh, there's a little oxymoron here. It's sort of like the, the city meets the uh, countryside. This uh, drawing right here reminds me of like a, a brisket. Um, I, I hate even using that word because it's something we don't uh, eat anymore. But um, yeah, it's a little uh, contrast here with the city and the uh, countryside. I don't know. It's the first thing that came out to mind when I saw this. I do like the font though. Um, I'm definitely going to associate that font with uh, new vegan jerky, something that I've I've never had before. Uh, this was actually hanging right by the uh, the cash registers, and uh, they definitely know what they're doing when they're putting uh, these snacks there. So I'm pretty excited to uh, to have these for the first time. Uh, I think this is the first review that we're going to be putting together as a snack. Uh, I usually review either drinks or you know heartier food, but hey. A snack is actually not a bad thing uh, from time to time. Admittedly, I used to be a fan of uh, beef jerky way back in the day before converting. And so I'm uh, excited to see that um, there's a uh, vegan jerky in the works, evidently. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, dive a little deeper. Now that we have discussed the packaging, um, it's safe to say that uh, it does have all the certifications that we have come to love. Uh, the vegan logo is right on the smack middle. Uh, bottom right, I should say. Um, the non-GMO logo is also there, which is obviously a very good thing as well. We don't want anything genetically modified in our foods. We don't want them tampering with that. Um, and it's also on the bottom left-hand corner, as you can see here, um, gluten-free. So that's kind of cool. Um, lets you know that if you are uh, sensitive to gluten in any which way, or you're actually a celiac, you're in the clear with this product. So that's very cool. Um, let's turn this around and uh, now talk about uh, nutrition. In fact, that's something that I usually like to uh, talk about when it comes to uh, these vegan food reviews. And uh, according to this, we've got three serving sizes uh, per container. Uh, serving size is actually uh, one ounce uh, equaling 28 grams. Uh, so FYI, uh, 100 calories per uh, serving. Um, so that's actually not bad at all. Uh, you've got three grams of uh, fat per serving, of course, uh, which equates to 4% of your uh, daily value. No cholesterol as with um, non-animal related products, of course. Uh, Sodium is a little high. Uh, that's to be expected with uh, the jerky, whether it's actually beef or soy uh, for this matter. Uh, 250 milligrams equating to 12% of your daily value. Uh, it's got a little bit of a dietary fiber, three grams, which is kind of neat. 
Uh, total sugars, uh, there is added sugar on this. Unfortunately, it's seven grams, uh, including six grams of which is included added sugar. Um, protein, five grams per serving. Again, 15 in total. It's actually says so right on the label. And uh, you've got uh, negligible amounts of vitamin D, uh, calcium, iron, and potassium. So that's uh, that's that in case you're, you know, watching your weight or uh, you're, you have hypertension and you're looking to uh, be weary of uh, your sodium intake. Now you know what, uh, what you're dealing with. As far as the ingredients is concerned, um, I'll read them out to you really quickly. You've got some uh, textured soy protein, whole bean, uh, yellow mustard, apple cider vinegar, vegan sugar, tamari. Um, you've got uh, water, of course, uh, vegan brown sugar olive oil, spices, and natural f smoke flavor. Um, so like I mentioned earlier, uh, most of the uh, uh, ingredients in this uh, specific vegan jerky are soy-based. Uh, so if you have some sort of, you know, a soy allergy or just soy intolerance or whatever the case may be, uh, steer clear of this product. Anyway, let's go ahead and dive in, open this bad boy up. Um, I don't think I've ever had a vegan beef jerky, so... I shouldn't say vegan beef jerky, right? There's no such thing as vegan beef jerky. It's vegan jerky, period. No beef. There's no beef in this. Sorry about that. All right, so there's only one thing left to do. Discuss taste and texture. And for that, we have to uh, grab a little something-something and see what happens. Hmm. Oh, yeah. It's pretty good texture, actually. Very reminiscent of good old-fashioned beef jerky which we don't eat anymore and shouldn't ever. That's definitely a trip down memory lane, man. That tastes amazing. Again, this flavor is uh, Smoky Carolina barbecue. Oh my goodness. That is like the perfect amount of each ingredient. Wow. I am taking a trip down memory lane indeed. Let, let's let's go to the website. Let's see what else they uh, they feature. Um, let's see. It's lvjco.com in case you're interested in finding out for yourself. Um, I'm on the website right now. Uh, again, this one is uh, Smoky Carolina Barbecue, but they have other options from which to choose. You've got some maple bacon, which sounds awesome. Uh, good old-fashioned smoked black pepper, which is kind of neat as well. Uh, they even have a perfect pepperoni. Man, I would love to try that one. Buffalo dill. Very cool. Um, and they also have a limited edition uh, called Sesame Gochu Yan. Dare I say that's how you pronounce that? Anyway, uh, lvjco.com. I think you could actually uh, either find it in a store near you or actually have it delivered to your home, which is kind of neat. So uh, there you have it. Um, as far as taste is concerned, man, it is scary good. I would highly recommend this as for sure, for sure. I would definitely buy this uh, sparingly. I don't think that I would make this uh, a staple uh, on a weekly basis. This uh, would make a great snack though. That's basically what it is intended to be, a snack, uh, perhaps in between meals or on the go when you're um, you know, backpacking or whatnot. Safe to say it's it, it would make a good glove compartment snack. Um, so uh, test. Texture and taste, this is incredible. I don't, wow. I mean, it's scary. It's scary how close we are getting to actually mimicking, uh, you know, mock meats and things of that nature. They they hit a home run with this one. So I guess the last thing to, uh, to talk about here would be the actual price. So let's go ahead and dive into uh, Smoky Carolina Barbecue. And uh, there you have it. $6.99 for a bag of uh, Louisville vegan jerky, but I'm pretty sure that I paid uh, just a little bit more uh, because of the fact that, you know, I'm in Puerto Rico and shipping uh, needs to happen. And so add to that the markup. I'm sure I paid a, a little bit closer to maybe $8. Um, but uh, MSRP on their website is $6.99, which I think is very reasonable, if, uh, if you don't mind me saying, because I remember that um, these weren't uh, necessarily inexpensive snacks when uh, they did, in fact, uh, get made from beef, turkey, or pork. And so I'm actually on their competitor's website, um, Jack Links, right now. And the original beef jerky is retailing for a similar $5.99. So, you know, the difference in price is negligible. 
Um, I think it's fair to say that uh, I would definitely spend the extra dollar to make sure that this is a cruelty-free product. I think it's safe to say we all would. So it's it's getting there. I, I'm loving the fact that these snacks are getting closer and closer to be a direct competitor of uh, cruelty snacks as opposed to cruelty-free, which is what this is. I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. I am fairly impressed. Louisville Vegan Jerky definitely gets a solid rating. I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. I am mind blown at how crazy, scary similar this is to actual, actual jerky. I mean, wow. Look at the texture. Look how they managed to, to get, uh, look at that. Huh? Talk about. That's incredible. The flavor is on point. It's nice and saucy. It's it's lathered up in a good amount of barbecue. I mean, this is excellent. Highly recommend it. If you uh, if you see this around town, definitely pick a bag, and uh, give it a go. Ten out of ten. Solid product. Solid product. Man, stick that in your pipe and smoke it, meat eaters. You've been had. Louisville Vegan Jerky, there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you got something out of this video, definitely give it a like and uh, let me know which product you want me to review next for you. If you've been on the fence about pulling the trigger and actually buying it, let me know so that I can review it for you on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Francis. If uh, you like this video and would like to see more reviews, definitely subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Oh my goodness, this is incredible. I think this is gonna be my dinner. What do you guys think? Oh, no. This is definitely not sharing with anybody. Nope. Don't even think about it. Mm. So good. Yeah. So good.